Hey guys, Sean here for VFX Jams. In today's episode, we're going to continue on with our film damage effect. And this particular episode, we're going to deal with gate weave. Now, if you're not familiar with what gate weave is, gate weave happens when a piece of film goes through the gate of a film camera or projector and it's not quite locked in there. Um, could be missing sprockets, could be the sprocket holes are a little loose on the, on the actual um, gear that, that pulls the film through the gate. Uh, if you're not familiar with what the gate is, the gate is actually just the opening where uh, light is exposed or projected to uh, the lens. So depending on if you're capturing or if you're projecting film. So what this uh, creates is the film strip uh, jitters ever so slightly inside that and so the overall effect is your frame moves ever so subtly and now if you it's it's becoming harder and harder to see but if you actually go to see a movie in a movie theater uh, I know, for example any of the anything Christopher Nolan does if uh, his if he's working with his um, his traditional or the, the guy he's been working with for a while the director of photography uh, his director of photography only prefers film, and I think Nolan only shoots on film too. So that means anything, uh, the Batman movies, the most recent Batman movies, the Batman, um, the Dark Knight series, uh, the ones with um, Christian Bale, any of those, if you watch a, a shot that's pretty static, that it's going to be harder to tell during the action scenes. But if you look at just um, a scene where he's talking to Alfred or whatever, if you look carefully at things in the background, you'll see it weave ever so slightly. You'll see it move. You have to pay attention. You have to be very careful. You, know, you have to focus on it. But you'll actually see the film move. So you don't see that, obviously, with digital unless it's been done after the fact because digital, uh, there's nothing physically moving through the gate. So enough of all that. Let's actually create the, uh, the effect. So as usual, we're going to start with a piece of footage in our comp. So import the footage that you would like to apply this effect to. We are using our Santa Monica footage that we've been using for this entire series. And now to create gate weave, there's, there's a number of ways to do it. I'm going to do it on top of... Uh, or, or inside of an adjustment layer. So we're going to go to right mouse click in the uh, timeline, new adjustment layer, and we're going to call it gate weave. You can actually do this to the footage itself. I've been doing all these outside of the footage so that when we combine all these effects together, it doesn't become uh, so complicated to look at. So all the plugins are in one layer. That obviously you can do it that way. There's nothing wrong with that. And once you become a little more proficient with these techniques, you may want to do it that way just to reduce the number of layers in your comp. But for the time being, we'll do it this way just to uh, for the sake of clarity. So, all right. So gate weave, right mouse click on that plugin. And we want to go to effect, distort, transform. Okay, so very simply what we're going to do in this case is we are going to add an expression to the position uh, feature here. So we will option, if you're on a Mac, click, and that will turn that into an expression. And now down here in your timeline, we are going to want to add the expression wiggle, 5, comma, 2. And so you can see what it looks like before and after. I'll play this footage without the effect turned on, just so you can have a, a quick see of what, what we're looking at here. Now, I'm actually moving the camera ever so slightly uh, just on when I was when I shot this before it actually starts to pan to the right. Uh, if you look at look at the um, look at one of the lamp posts or the Ferris wheel just for frame of reference, just so you can see it moving, like look at the center of the Ferris wheel there where it's sort of an A shape, the top of the A. Okay, that black square. All right, so this guy right here. Um, all right, so now watch it. Watch that now with the transform turned on. See how it's wandering? And here we'll play it back here shortly so you can actually see the effect. Now, this might be a little exaggerated, but do you see how it's kind of um, it's swimming around there? It's not exactly uh, standing still. That's the effect of gate weave. And um, that's essentially it. It's nothing too crazy complicated, but that will help give you the effect of a gate weave. Now, if you feel like that's too much, you can back it off here. Um, you can take down the second number, which is amplitude. You can take that down to 0.5 and it will lessen it quite a bit. Should anyway. Yeah, a little bit. So 
that's generally the idea. I'll default back to five two, five comma two. So that's it. Gateweave made simple. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll continue to bring more cool tutorials your way. And thanks for watching.